So today we're going to do some fossil hunting while the weather's nice. We're up here in this holler where I found a lot of cool stuff before. It's nice and sunny. It's about 50 degrees. And we're just going to get around the creek bank and look in piles like that for, for some carboniferous fossils. It's about 200 to 300 million years old. Should find some stuff. This holler's full of stuff. So we're going to head on up the holler. See if we have any luck. It's another little cool one. That is a scale tree fossil. I'm not sure if that would be would be either a lepetodendron or a sigillaris, I believe it's called. Probably a lepetodendron. I know they're a lot more common in this area. But that was pretty much one of the world's first tree prototypes about 300 odd million years ago. Pretty cool. It just looks like a sandstone on this side it's because it just got the imprint of the fossil, it's not really a 3D cast. It's just on one side of still, it's really cool. Little brachiopod imprints. It's pretty cool. And the way this is explained to me by geologists, is all this stuff comes out of what's called the Breathitt McGoffin Formation. And it's associated with coal, and that's why it's so common in Eastern Kentucky. And a lot of this stuff is around like, I think maybe like 240 to like 320 million years old, something like that, like way, way predates the dinosaurs and all that. And that's why these are, referred to as brachiopods instead of mussels or clams or anything like that these are like their ancestors like the little very first little proto proto shell creatures but it's a lot of really old stuff but that's kind of just the explanation of where all this stuff comes from and the rock formation and all that it looks like just a little bit of coal or iron on that one. There's a lot of iron deposits in this formation too in the form of a limonite hematite, some hematite mostly limonite though. It's something cool. It's like an old piece of old piece of furniture like a like a piece of a bed or something maybe it just looks like it had a little wheel in there kind of like that was the bottom maybe I don't know what it is but I know it's old when it's been the far cool over here some more fossils that looks like a calamite which would have been like a uh, if anybody knows what like a modern day horsetail reed looks like it was like a big horsetail reed tree that would get like I don't know I think some of them was like maybe 20 foot tall or something there's different species of them but it was a calamite this was probably a scale tree it's gonna overlap a little but pretty 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 cool
Now we're finally getting up here to where the best fossil hunting is. It's really this area from about right here up to where that dead mossy log is fell across the creek. This is like exactly where the fossil formation is. And here's a pretty cool one. That one's cool. And this is why these trees are referred to as scale trees. Because it's scaly pattern. A lot of people find these kind of fossils and think they found like a snake fossil or some kind of dinosaur or fish or reptile. It's not though. It's just a tree. I mean, it's still pretty cool because it's like two or 300 million years old, but that is the outer bark pattern from a scale tree. One of the first trees on the planet actually. And this is a different tree fossil. This is probably from the roots or something, I would say. This is not an outer bark. Not an outer bark pattern. This is like the outer mold of it. But we're going to go up through here and look for some more. Bunch more scale tree fossils, root fossils. Molds of them anyway, they're not 3D casts. Just on the, on the surface where they fossilize a little coal embedded with them. Still pretty cool to look at. And here's something that's weird, I thought. I didn't know what this was at first and I picked it up and this is a piece of oak that's been sawed or hewed or something. It's got, it's got a piece of metal in it. Man, that's old. It don't even feel like wood where it's drawled up so much minerals and stuff in this creek. I can't tell if that's like mineralization or if it's been burnt, but it's weird, weird and cool. There's another little piece of oak in the same old area. You can tell it's oak the way the grain lays in it. Probably from the old old homestead or something to do with logging or mining coal out of here back in early 1900s late 1800s or something as y'all can see here we ain't the only visitors up here lately a pretty good sized coon up through here taking his time walking along here looking for a snack a big minute or a crawl dad or something So up here, this big bedrock formation is kind of where most of the fossils are coming out of. You see, like right here. And get across there. Now I can see it better. See how big that one is. It's a big one. Big prehistoric tree cast. You see all these other small ones. There's one. There's some. That's a good steel tree. And print. That's a killer. But this is the bedrock formation of where all this stuff that we've seen down the creek is coming out of. This is it right here. That's going to do it for this episode. There's some nice water scenery for y'all. But thank y'all for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Learned some stuff about fossils. Catch you next time.